Man Dude's podcast, new room, new setup, new cameras. Let's get it going. That's crazy, dude. Just stop. Game's always broken when you lose. Yo, that's crazy, dude. <laughs> Shit, dude. Are we on? We're on. We're on there. We're live? We're Man. hot? We're hot. Oh, jeez. Dude. How we doing, people? This is an unbelievable setup. Dude, look at look at us. We got... Look at us. Oh, the we camera got, pointing we got, at JD. We got the JD camera. Woo! We got the main camera. We got the mics going. We're going to we get new this. ones. We're getting, we're getting new mics. Hey, new what's chairs. Up, I mean, we're growing and growing, and I'm not talking about boners here. I'm going to get a... Better lawn chair, and we're gonna yeah. we're gonna we're gonna do it big. I feel bad for Isaac. We got, we got an office Coleman? chair for JD. I got I might my have gaming to stand chair up because my back is Coleman? going to start hurting. If you can give me a scooch, a scooch this where? way towards. Isaac. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Isaac, I might run over your foot here. This is unbelievable. Okay, so this is and the we are good. Now we're okay. Sick man, this is coming out of your guys' check. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Um, let's just get a, get us going. How was everyone's uh, week? Well, Since first of all, film. Colton, let's ask you first how your fucking week is Isaac, <laughs> every fucking time. I appreciate that because you get you get all butt hurt that we don't ask you shit, well, and I we mean, don't, and we don't. Yeah, yeah because you know, I'll what? be I'll be the first one to admit it. We don't, we you don't ask you. How you have to understand going. when you be to, when you be polite to somebody and they yeah. don't be polite back, yeah. it, it hurts. It hurts the soul. Right. But uh, I do <laughs> appreciate asking. Uh, it was one hell of a week at work. Oh, just man. work. Oh man, let me tell you, BJ. Woo. Working in a kitchen is one of the most stressful things. Like, have you ever played the game, like, uh, Diner Dash? Have you ever played one of those games? Yeah. Where you got to feed everybody and make sure. Dude, that's how I feel back. Because I'm the expo in the kitchen. Yeah. First of all, our cooks, one of the cooks works from freaking, like, 7 in the morning till closing every single day, six days a week. He, you told me you walked out. He walked out for a good 30 minutes. this week? Earlier this week? That was last, last week. Last week. He's good now. It was just mis- miscommunication and everything. But, uh... <clears throat> I love that guy. I love the whole the whole cooks, man. They yeah, they, all, all they the work their ass. Love them, but yeah. they're overworked, and we need more kitchen. Exactly, staff. and we're short we're short staffed, but I mean we got. So is literally gotta... every kitchen. Yeah. in fucking Southern California exactly. right now. That's no true. one wants to work like in a re- especially restaurants. <clears throat> like every if you go to a restaurant, they're always hiring because they just need help. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but man, we had like I swear to God, if we had a camera crew on Saturday night at our work. Oh, it would have been. We would have made money. Been a good episode. We would have made money. Really? That would have been a great episode. We have couples fighting in the back in the kitchen. We got food taking thirty minutes to make. We got people screaming at each other. We well, because got... he gets it from literally all ends because he's having the servers ask him why the why their food isn't ready. He's got he's got to ask all the cooks what the hell is taking so long, and then he's got to coordinate all the plates and. Make sure so everything's like sent out it. to the right table. I'm, I'm, because I feel like like my job is not as important as the cooks, but like I feel like I'm like the quarterback of the kitchen, um, because like I got to make sure everything's running smooth. I got to make sure food's coming out good. It's looking good. Mm-hmm. It's the right temperature on burgers and steaks and everything. I got to mm-hmm. make sure it's plated right. And then you know, shit gets sent back every now and then. Yeah. So then you got to remake a dish, and then that's got to be made on the fly while you're focusing on cooking other stuff. And then you got to go orders. And it's it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. Like, dude, the the worst thing about it is like the screen when it gets over at least twenty minutes a ticket, it starts blinking red. Yeah, it starts blinking it just, red. It just it's it's, it's freaking designed mayday. to give you anxiety, anxiety, dude. So you're just like, where's my shit? You know? Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> and then every time he's expo, I go back there. And I'll just say, it's bloody fucking raw, you know? <laughs> it's raw! We'll just do our best Gordon Ramsay impression. Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> and then, yeah, we got to have the fucking lamb sauce. Headphone um, users, nice. beware. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, work was just, <laughs> it was one of the worst weeks um, I think I've ever had. No, no, worst like weekend I've ever had we, at local. Yeah, I mean, because it's usually a shit show, just granted how busy we are. But like on top of that, there was like a whole bunch of other drama and shit going on within the staff so it's yeah. just like we you can't have that when it's shit show saturday in the yeah. kitchen you know it's yeah just, take that shit elsewhere but you know we got through it it was a sweaty weekend but um you know we were able to make money so so i went saturday and i had a you great went, time you go saturday or sunday I think it was Wait, Sunday. It was yesterday, it was yesterday right? yeah. Damn, my bad. I thought yesterday was Saturday. Don't, don't get it wrong. It's a great memory, no, though, no. Chief. <laughs> so, yeah, I took my girl, and, like, you guys seem you guys had it on lock. Like, no, no, Sunday Sunday was good. Sunday was yeah, good. Yeah, Sunday was You were chilling, pretty walking around. I seen you, like, always, you know. Yeah, I was bored, like, most of the show. Yeah, you were, like, just with yeah. everybody else, kind of like. 
Yeah, it was it was a slow Sunday. You were getting shit done. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It just seemed like a really good uh, floating boat, dude. Yeah, no, no. Sunday was good, but man, it's crazy. Like you think from the outside, everything's like a great night, but man, if you're in a kitchen, it's it's like I swear to God, it's yeah. it's it's hell. Well, it that, is that, hell. That's what it's meant to be. It's supposed to be fucking absolute pandemonium chaos in the back, and then as soon as you step out that door. Here's your food, yeah. sir. Enjoy. You know, it's like, crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. a, it's a, it's all an illusion. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like you think about like if you got like either you or your mom or whoever is like making a meal for the family, the kitchen's like gonna be a fucking disaster by the time she's yeah. done or whoever's done cooking. So like imagine that just over and over with a bunch more people for five six hours straight. You That's know, crazy. It's it's just, just, it feels like it never ends. Yeah, for real. Do you guys ever feel like uh, like stepping outside? Like I gotta fucking take oh, yeah. five minutes. Every every five minutes, I'm like, I gotta I gotta leave. This is too you, much. Yeah, you start to understand more and more what the people that smoke do smoke. You're like, yeah. damn. That's what I'm saying. Like ever since I started working at local, I'm like, I bet you these could, cigarettes slap harder <laughs> than <laughs> yeah. harder than someone, dude. <laughs> it's like I'm like, you know what? Smoke that cigarette. You so, you deserve yeah, it. So exactly. Not, like I know, um, you guys obviously can't smoke in there, but can you Right out back, let me take a little tequila and then I'm I mean you're not supposed to, but like people do it. People have done it. Like yeah. people people no, have come I, in drunk, people have drank at you know, work while on the clock yeah. type shit. It's like it's not unheard of. It's a fucking restaurant industry, you know what I'm saying? For like, real. And then like you happens. guys are kind of a sports bar too, so it could be a big ass game and somebody's like, Yo, shots for everybody here. You yeah. take one too, you know? Yeah. So oh yeah, no, servers definitely get offered shots like relatively have, often especially like if you're a hot chick and you're serving and you're serving a bunch of like a group of fucking six dudes like oh babe you want to just take yeah. a shot like, yeah. who cares man you know there was there was this table maybe like a month ago they're from alabama they they brought their own i swear to god i put this on my mom they brought their own beer like cozies wow. or koozies yeah they brought their own like and it was like nascar mm-hmm. um about as redneck as you can. Yeah, get. like a, a, a is it Natty Light, right? <laughs> yeah, Natty yeah, like Light, it was Natty Light, dude. one of those, dude. And like they all had one. I'm like, okay, this. And they were super nice. They offered me a shot the other night. They took me like sixty bucks. But the the wow. funny thing was, like, their friend went missing during the dinner. No. Like he was so <laughs> wasted. They got so much. Alcohol. Oh shit! He just took off. Well, like it's not like I knew. Like I didn't overserve <laughs> them because they didn't seem like they weren't out of control. Like yeah. no one was throwing. They weren't drunk, but like one guy just like went missing. Yeah. So like. For 20 minutes, they kept asking me, like, hey, have you seen this guy? Like, you just walked out sideways to see him. So they had to go find him for 20 minutes. Dahmer like, got him. Bro, straight Dahmer. <laughs> straight Dahmer. But it was, yeah, they took me 50 bucks. I took a picture with them, too. Like, they Are wanted to take serious? a picture with me, yeah. So uh, it was great. But yeah, that does happen, getting shots. They offered me a shot. I took it with them. That's yeah. cool. That's sick. sick. Yeah. Um, how, was dis- your, how was your week? Pretty much that. Same shit? Yeah, well, I mean, we're at the same place. I'm just behind the bar. Um, tomorrow wasn't too crazy. Um, this weekend can't complain too much. You know, had a had a pretty good week. Going to Vegas next weekend. Oh so. yeah, we're staying at. So yeah. Um, the not the circa, but the one across from the circa, because we're getting like on Saturday okay. we're doing the whole cabana shit. Okay, on, sick. On the pool. Yeah, yeah. On the rooftop with all the TVs and shit. So Like the sports book uh, yeah, pool. That's yeah, so gonna, sick, gonna, dude. Gonna black out. Gonna fall asleep by 5 p.m. <laughs> um, wake up probably 10 o'clock. Very confused because it can be dark. Is it tomorrow? Is it today? Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. Where's my phone type deal. Yeah. Um, you know, gonna gonna be a good Vegas trip. Gonna be a good Vegas trip. Have you seen that, BJ? The, the sports book? Book TV. It's like a sports book TV, but it's like massive, oh, right by the poolside. Okay, but here's really? the, here's the thing. It's at the Circa Hotel, and the Circa, okay. the entire hotel is 21 and over. Like wow. you can't get in unless you show a valid yeah, ID yeah. that you're fucking 21. That's and so over. sick. That's crazy. So it's, uh, instead of the Circa, it's AKA fuck them kids hotel. Yeah. Because there's no fucking kids. It's literally all fucking adults. So like. That's the model, dude. I have know. Have you stayed there before? No, I haven't, but I've been into the casino. I haven't been to the pool yet, so it's been my first time. You think it's going to be younger pool, people so. or older people? <clears throat> like, like literally wise, a you know? solid combination. Oh, okay. That's cool. You, you'll yeah. find a bunch of fucking freshly turned 21 you know, party animals, and then I you'll find so, a bunch bro. of rich-ass fucking 50-year-old just yeah. fucking there betting thousands of dollars on or games. Or just ready to party all day. <clears throat> Both, yeah. If you think about it, that's a good-ass idea that you have a 21 and over casino because, you know, older people are obviously going to have children. 
and like they're gonna have to take them. Now there's no option. Yeah, it's just fucking us, we're fucking getting crazy. Yeah, and we're getting after it. Absolutely, I like That's it. Sick. Yeah, dude. So let me know how that goes, Isaac. Cause I really want to try that that freaking circle pool. Well, yeah, because it, it's fucking you're you're on a rooftop. We're in a pool. You got bottle service, and you got like eight, ten, twelve. I don't even know how many fucking TVs they got. Yeah, like big ass. You're surrounded by big ass mm-hmm. TVs. And it's, it's going to be college football, so there's like 90,000 games so going sick. on. So it's like, pick your poison type That's deal. so sick, man. I, We're mainly going because I'm pretty sure Texas A&M and Alabama is playing this weekend. Oh, college they football are. is like crazy oh, yeah. in Vegas. Oh, oh yeah. God, yeah, no, I'm about to... I'm, I'm betting a I'm betting good amount of money mm-hmm. on a bunch of games out there. Um, just parlays out the ass. You got to do it. We had a freaking parlay in Vegas, me and BJ, oh, man. And we needed one game. The Angels it, needed to win. Was it the last one? It's always the last leg. Well, the last it leg? It was. It really was. So this game, the Dodgers ended up getting walked off on. Okay, like no, it was that one. That one was tough. At like 1 a.m., but like we were assuming, you know, the Dodgers got our back. Yeah. But it was the Angels one that just shattered the fuck out of our hearts. We had like a five-game parlay, a four-game parlay. It was five or four, yeah. And we put 50 bucks in to win like 800. 800 it was like crazy because we, we picked like two underdogs. One underdog won. It was the freaking Tigers beat some team. Two of our underdogs won. It was Tigers and Mariners. No, it wasn't Mariners. Mariners aren't underdog. Royals. Was it Royals? Something crazy. It was Tigers and Royals. They both won. And the fucking Angels, man. And we blew up everything. We're with my girlfriend, man. And like. Just ruined her day or what? Well, because she, she's. she's, <laughs> how, she's how much did you bet on the parlay? Did you ask? Okay. So like at 25 each, like we, I wasn't yeah. like crazy upset, but yeah. like. You're not walking out of there broke as fuck. Exactly. You know? So it's like. That's a great thing about parlays. Is that's what I'm like, saying. That's what I'm saying. a little saying. down and it's a lot. Exactly. Yeah. That's the best way to gamble Bro, in Vegas, I think. Yeah. Is, is and sports. The, no, you all know the best time to actually gamble in Vegas is March Madness. Oh, March Madness gosh. is the epitome of fucking. Let's just get I bet. after it. I Those, bet dude. every sports book you go to. <laughs> I bet because the games start early. Some week, yeah. like sometime on a Saturday, on a fucking Sunday, uh-huh. those games are starting early. And you know they they give you the big old sheet, all the games, all the money lines, you know, all the over unders, everything. And then they also will have NBA games as well. Mm-hmm. And I remember I I did I bet a parlay. And it was I want to say Sweet Sixteen or Round of Thirty Two. I forget one of those two yeah. rounds. And I literally hit. I bet every underdog. Just that's so it's, sick. It's college basketball. Yeah. If they don't yeah. win, they'll cover at uh-huh. least. You know. Yeah. And every single one hit one like four fifty off a forty dollar wow. bet, and then I also did another forty dollar parlay, but it was for the NBA, uh-huh. and it was an even like the college basketball one was I think either four or five legs. This one was a seven leg parlay. That's crazy. And so if it hit, I would have won. I would have cashed out with fifteen hundred. Wow. And all I needed to have was the goddamn Mavericks to beat the. Piece of shit Hornets on a random fucking Tuesday. What year was this? Literally last year. Wow. That's tough. Last year or two years ago. I forget. But the I remember I'm, I'm, I remember looking at the fucking oh. sheet. And I'm like, all right, Dallas versus Hornets. Like, Luka versus Melo. Like, Luka's got to. Like, he's going to take this over. And, like, yeah. he, like he just got to do it. Like, the, yeah. the betting gods are going to be in my fucking favor, uh-huh. right? And they weren't. The Mavs lost by 30. They blew, got blown out. Fucking blew up my fucking parlay. Last leg. I feel like Vegas sports books, they know. They know yeah, exactly what's going to happen. Like, you bet, it. like, an over-under or, like, a run plus, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And it's it's always less of what you yeah. think. It's yeah. like they know exactly. But how the fuck do they know? Hey, they know exactly. It's, how do they it's know? It's crazy. I need, I, I need to know how they it's know. Cr- Dude, I'm telling you, man. The odd everything makers, Vegas, how do they do it, bro? Everything That's in Vegas crazy. is unbelievable. What gets me going, and I sh- I shouldn't be doing it, but oh, video no. blackjack. I know. I hate video. So I great. love it, but I hate it. Why don't you play the real thing? Because I I don't like. I mean, like, you're scared of. I'm not people. scared. They're just rude. They're fucking rude. No. Well, okay. Well, this is what you gotta do. You gotta go to like the fifty cent fucking blackjack table. They see the art. They don't have fifty cent anymore. Like it's sometimes like twenty five. No, you, you gotta you gotta go to free uh, Fremont. Fremont, bro. Wanna, Fremont is uh, sick. If you guys want to take a look here, I'll put it up for the YouTube people. How they odds, odds makers? Maker. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Odds makers lean on computer algorithms, power rankings, win totals, futures, and consultants to determine the odds. Odd makers tweak the line based on adjustments, including injuries, weather, home field advantage, and head to head matches. Who are these odd makers? Bro, imagine being an odd maker. You're like, I'm going to fuck up someone's day to day. But you, they have so much power. They have so they much, have power. So much power. I bet you there's like three odds makers in the world that are just doing every fucking thing. Remember that uh, 
the scene in The Dark Knight where Morgan Freeman, his character is looking at the screen. Oh, he's got like on. 30 he, fucking screens. Bro, yeah. this, I bet you on maker. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's three just... of those people in like yes, fucking that's what I'm one saying. in Connecticut, one in Nebraska, and then one in Vegas. And they're all Yo, just. Yo, do they have the World line. Cup on um, Sportsbook? They have to. Yo, oh, yeah. There's no. Bro, can, you imagine watch, the, can you imagine the fucking anger? That your ethnicity just lost and the other ethnicity is yeah, going crazy. No, soccer was going crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. I forget. I remember it was one time that same weekend that I made those bets on basketball. Like there was a soccer game going on. Mm-hmm. And like we were at like we were at this bar and like there was a bunch of like it was like a foreign game too. And like a bunch of people were like were there. I think it was like Italy or some shit. It came down to the wire. People were getting high. It came down like penalty kicks or some shit. But like, yeah, no, I could easily see soccer being lit as hell in Vegas. Next year. You know yeah. Yeah, that's in November. Cup, is it next mu- next month? Is it next November? Month? The World Cup? Or is it next year? No, 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 it's next, next year. Next year. It's okay. Next year. Three, yeah. I think it's that's here crazy. next year. Because I know it's supposed to happen. No, in- it's in like Qatar. Oh, that's year. right. Why do I have What's coming up next? Something's we got coming the up Winter soon. Olympics coming World up Classic? in LA soon. Baseball World Classic? Maybe, maybe World Classic. World Classic. The World Classic is here. It's, it's in, here. yeah, it is. That's next right. World Cup. Where? Uh, it starts with a K. You're scrolling. You're scrolling with, yeah. Guitar, I'm pretty sure. Yep, boom. November 20th. and Dude, I'm telling you, I think it's this year. November 20th at 18th. Right there. Oh, shit, yeah, it's right. this year. <laughs> I'm telling you. Dang, oh, you're right, because they are doing all the, like, the plans and shit yes. right now to determine the That's season. what it is, because I know it's supposed to happen. Oh, this shit's right around the corner. Yeah. It was supposed to happen well, during COVID. It's supposed to happen in 20, uh, 2020, I think. Because the last one was in. Oh, no. That's... Bro, you know. No. What? Sorry. They had, yeah, they had to push right. it back because of COVID. COVID yeah, yeah, COVID fucked it up. So when was it originally supposed to be played? Because it, it's every four years. I'm pretty sure 2020. Yeah, okay. Because it was 2014. No. It's uh, 2014. Then, uh, no. 2016. It was supposed to be this year then. 2018. Yeah, because we're in what D.C. 2014, bro. Because you know what? The last World Cup I remember, we, we were, were in, in middle school. We were no, yeah, no, we were in D.C. Remember? Really? We were at the, the diner in D.C. And Germany oh, won yes, it. yes, or yes. Or Brazil won it. That's right. That's right. Look at us using our setup. Good old Wikipedia, baby. That's cool, dude. If there's one thing you can rely on in this world, can you search up perfect? It's tits? Wikipedia. <laughs> JD, tell, so tell me, tell me, tell me, tell yeah, me how, tell me how Universal was, yeah, dude. Right. Okay. So yeah, it was actually planned. So then, what got pushed back? It was the Olympics that got pushed back. Olympics yeah. and yeah, the yeah, World yeah. Baseball Classic too. That's okay. what I'm thinking of too. And then the World Baseball Classic is next. In Next year, next in, February in the USA, though, in, right? In, yeah, in LA and everything and stuff like that. Well, no, they have different. They're going to be playing at different stadiums. It's different though. stadiums, yeah. Though, yeah. Which is all across the United exactly. States. There's like someone like Mexico. So then, yeah, they're going to have a game at Dodger Stadium. Then they yeah. I don't. Them. I don't think it's like the World Cup. I think World Baseball Classic is just it's like the same fields. I think it's like always LA, Mexico, Japan. Like it's all around the world. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Man, hey, don't tell me. Type in Google in Google. Brother, yeah, no, come That's on. Tough. Nah, you just got caught in 4K. That's yeah, tough. Yeah, I did. You typed in Google on Google. Yo, yeah, you got to make sure he edits that mistake in because people got to see. No, it's in. It's already locked in. <laughs> <laughs> the people need um, to see. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't think Google was your main browser. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, what do you think he was using? Fucking Bing? I use low key. I use DuckDuckGo. Yeah, that says a lot about a person, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I am kind of scared because this is my Google. Oh no! Don't type in P. No, no, no! I'm telling you, right now, it's just like this is my obviously my iPhone uh, stuff too, and I just wonder. What's on here? I'm not saying anything sexual, just like some crazy stuff, dude. There's so much sexual shit on here, dude. Stop, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> um, BJ, you asked him. I heard you about yeah, Halloween. JD, I want Horror you to. I want you to tell. Get us, us in there, Jamie. Oh yeah, well, you, uh, JD. You just recently went to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Get correct? that camera in there. Look, I at, did in LA. Damn dog, you're in dark LA. in there. Oh, you, you look like a villain in hey, that red light. This is really what's nice. Oh, put on a robe nice. and a hood, and you're a Star Wars villain, dude. dude. Look at the freaking man bun popping out. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Universal was good, man. Uh, the tram ride was pretty good how quickly did they make you get off of that tram um within within five minutes bro it took us about seven because we had to like wait for like a couple minutes jd the the first time you went to horror nights and got on that tram 
and thought you were going to stay on that tram the whole time but had to get off, how disappointed were you? <laughs> oh, well, I was 11 when I first went to Universal. Right. And Fortnite? Yeah. That's a good age to go. That's, oh, a, that's a good age to pop that cherry. And right, yeah, right when they, right when we get on the tram, they were like, please keep your hands and feet. Wait. Would have been scarred, right. bro. Please keep your hands and feet, whatever, whatever. And if you have children under twelve, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> it <laughs> said that in that? the like over the speakers. That's and I, great. I, and you're over here. I just turned eleven. I'm basically yeah. ten. <laughs> and I, I just sharded and I was like, okay, well, at, at least we stay in the comfort of the of, of this tram. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> you know what it was? My first time at the Halloween Horror Nights, I was like, my my feet were starting to get tired. And so we, yeah. we were hitting the tram. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. I, get to, oh, yeah. I get to sit down, relax. They're not really going to scare me. Yeah. I'm in the tram. And then they're like, oh, no, our tram broke down. We got to get off. I'm like, yeah. fuck. Dude. The tram ride has been so ass the past couple years. All and I'll there. tell you. I'll, I'll, what, yeah. What was there, the theme this year? So the theme was, the name of it was uh, uh, Koodles Carnival. Koodles Carnival? Koodles or Cuddles? Koodles. That's here, tough. Here, here's the thing. Yeah, here's the here's the story, the backstory. So they're back in the uh, the 70s at uh, Universal. They had a kids show with a clown, and he's like, you know, whatever. Let me guess, Koodles. Koodles the clown. Yeah. And got fired for whatever reason. Alcoholic. And, you, yeah. you know what it was. You know uh, yeah. It was. yeah, we all know what it was. Snyder. And so now, <laughs> a, after that, <laughs> after that, he hangs around the park at the front of the park just... Uh, taking pictures for the kids and like hey you want to take a picture five dollars Dahmer, Dahmer type stuff and he would like you know creep people out or whatever but he was never officially employed by the park oh. so then a few people went missing in the woods surrounding the park nice. no one's seen koodles in a while yep you're driving the tram what do you know? They're they're taping a live episode of Koodles Carnival, the remake, where he's like the saw guy. <laughs> Dude, is everything got to be a reboot? Dude, yeah. I am so Isaac. Can thank Holly you for freaking bringing can, this up? Can Hollywood? Oh, wait, 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 pause. Sorry, oh, just real no. quick, just finish to recap. Story. Finish the story. Uh, you have to get off, and then they got chainsaws, or whatever. The in so, the past, yeah. the yeah. walking tram has been ass. This one was a little bit less ass than the previous. So this okay. is ass after a, after a dude wipes gets wiped. Yes, it's that type of okay. ass. Okay, so wait. Still fresh. So did they wrap up the story with Koodles? Did he like keep fucking children or what happened? Um, he kidnapped two employees and did like a saw thing on them while he recorded it. That's what you watch on the tram ride. Oh, okay, oh, okay. nice, nice. And uh, he's like, "Hey, kids, you want to see an arm get cut off or whatever?" I, yeah. I don't remember. Straight Slim Shady shit. It's, yeah, hi kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, hi kids, uh, you like violence? And then you get to walk through. Oh, you saw Nope, right, Isaac? Yeah. You get oh, to you walk, walk through, through the set, right? The set, which is the actual set they used. It's they a, it's the carnival one, right? They transported all those buildings from the movie and brought it to the park. Wow. I, I, so now, it's all, I, now I feel like I need to watch it. I you haven't seen need, No, yet. you know what you guys need to fucking watch. 10 out of 10 movie, Smile. Ooh. Oh, it, it was is good? a great motherfucking movie, dude. I the marketing for that has been great. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, Did yeah, you guys yeah. see the, the people, people at the baseball the games, bro? Yes, that, yeah. that was sick. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to watch it. Bro, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, what the fuck? It was awesome to see that, though. But go ahead. No, okay. These it's people... The people that got paid to go like stand at the games and smile, uh, shout out to their jaw muscles because holy oh, fuck, dude. you know how hard it is to hold a smile for that long. That's that's tough. Bro, that I, is boys. That dude, is. Tough. I was sucking up. Um, oh, dude, that was you crazy, were sucking, bro. What? Um, that's crazy, man. Man, bro. dude. Man, dude. Man, uh, pulling a BJ over here, but, dude. How much money would you have to get paid to do that? Because baseball games are <laughs> imagine. Oh, long. they they, they shot me like forty dollars, bro. You just stand there, just. Uh, how much would you charge, commitment, Coleman, bro, for to smile for fucking three hours in a row? I would need a hundred dollars because like, you you don't know for sure when they're on commercial break or when exactly. they come back. Like so, you kind of do a little. Well, I mean, it, the good thing is the camera's always on you because you're behind home plate. So like that's that's the plus, obviously. Yeah. But like, is it only was it only for a certain amount of innings? Was it for the whole game? If it's imagine, imagine they made that person buy their own ticket. <laughs> yeah, so I need you to go smile there. Yeah, but... you need to go buy a third row ticket right behind home plate. Dude. The arguably most expensive ticket you could buy at any baseball game. If I got a free ticket, I would charge $80 an inning. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, I would do per inning. I think I'll do per inning and just see how you long I You only do 80 an inning? 
Yeah. Bump it up to 100 in this economy. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. JD. Thank, you. Thank you. You're my agent, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> JD, I know you're an actress guy, too. You like good acting. Really good acting, too, in this movie. Oh, yeah. Miles? I can't yeah, okay. stand a movie with bad acting. I know. Bro, it's, it's, just so, it's so obvious. I hate yeah. it. It's obvious. Like, yeah. you're bad at what you do. I hate it. You're we an might, actor, and you should be a fucking grocery bagger at fucking Trader Joe's. We might need to watch some bad acting clips after this, man, because I, <laughs> I love it, but I hate it. Just watch The Room. Okay. The Room? Or is that what it's called? Fucking with uh... You guys got to talk while I type. You can't be all yeah. is... out. <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> we want the people to hear the typing. Yeah, yeah. AS- we have some ASMR fans in here no, too. No, not just bad acting. Type in worst acting all time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, then you got um, Halloween coming out October fourteenth. Yeah, that better that better be good. It has to be. I, I don't even want it to be True. good. Just end it. Yes. Just end it's it, dude. The last kill everybody. Kill Jamie Lee Curtis. Kill Michael Myers. Kill the director. Kill the producer. I don't know how you, I don't Listen, know you don't have the mouse on. Fucking. So we freaking. <laughs> what were, <laughs> okay. I just don't want anyone like. Here's number ten. We see Hulk Hogan yeah. say this line. I hate that. I, just, t- I hate those. Like it. Yeah, it's Watch Mojo. So it's I'm, okay. Like no, I'm, Watch Mojo is legendary. I'm sorry. No, I'm they are. Mojo. But like, Some if you're like <laughs> just getting into YouTube type yeah. shit. After a while, you're like, all right, Mojo, suck a dick. We got about five. Four minutes left. How, how much? How, how long is this video? Like half an hour. Thirteen. 13? Okay, after this video, we'll end the one episode. How was that? Is that cool? Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, we can't hear it though. You gotta move the speakers. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> is, that, <laughs> is, is, that, is that the <laughs> Shatmeister? Yo, those Indian movies that take like super long to yes, <laughs> them yes. to fall out the Did building. Go bottom right to the speaker icon. Um, wait right with us, icon? chat. Bottom right. Bottom right. On, They'll on be the like screen, catching the their bullet with their the toes. TV, on the TV. On the TV. On the TV. Bottom right speaker. Bottom right. Bottom right there. Holy hell. That took go a while. Go to... Uh... <laughs> oh, dude. Bro. This movie is terrible. Birdemic? Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way this is yes, real, bro. It is. I know the backstory. Wait, this. Is oh, what's the backstory? <laughs> okay, give us the backstory. All right. <clears throat> Okay. Gotta switch over. No, uh, okay, this is the backstory for Birdemic: um, Shock and Terror. Came out 2010. Yeah, 2010. All, um, this is just like a director just out of film school had a couple grand to make a movie, and decided to make this. And <laughs> so uh, it was literally only on the weekends they filmed. It was no, like th- a crew they all had of three, nine to fives, huh? A crew of three with like four or five actors. Weekends only. Couple months. So it's a student and, film. Yeah. How the hell did it get like released on like a mainstream platform? But you know what? We're talking about it. That's, That's what I'm saying. saying. We're bro. talking about. How it. did this guy end up winning? And, and I don't know. The only reason I know is I watch uh, this YouTube channel. Who? Uh, <laughs> they say you watch this movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like remake this. They used this footage, but they they cut out all the birds. They put in realistic birds. Oh, okay. uh, made them like drop nukes on the town. Made it look realistic. <laughs> okay, so it's not as bad as this. Then this is no, just, no, no, no. this they is just upgrade the CGI. This is, yeah, this yeah, yeah, is yeah. the pre. Okay, yeah. that's a little better. Yeah, that's a little better. Because um, the acting somewhat believable. I mean, if I got yeah, I got and, a bunch of birds flying. flying. They're they're like I'm lightly swiping. You're swiping. <laughs> they were actors going to film school, so like they're you know they. So they, they were terrible actors. Yeah. Well, I mean, terrible, but they at least kind of know what they're kind of doing. Not All right, Johnny, I need, you, I need you to start swiping. Yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah, no. and that's yeah Johnny, you got to be fighting for your life. All right, these birds are trying to fucking kill you. Give me something. <laughs> and that's the thing. Uh, <laughs> no, go back. Dude, there's Coach no footwork in that clip. It's just it's all arms. There's no footwork. Yeah. True. They don't move their fucking. They, like they, the camera. They're stationary. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is, this is absolutely a slow mo shot. Watch when he knocks the drink off. Oh wow! So he's probably moving even way slower than that in real life. Or no, he's probably moving faster. Yeah, he's moving fast as shit right now. But why does it look off? It's, I think because her shots are normal. 
But he, no, him. He just, no, he's trying to act in slow motion and then put the slow motion, slow motion acting in slow motion. Okay, yeah, not so the slow section. Because if you, yeah, if you fucking, if you, yeah, there's slow section going. They should have, they should have done this in regular speed. They, yeah, then, they should have told him, hey, act like you yeah, actually yeah, got yeah. shot. Is that how we're ending episode number? Whatever the whatever hell? the hell it is, we I never so. know what it is. This is uh, no, this one is gonna be eight for sure. Wait, let's do a let's do a freaking thumbnail live and in stereo. Okay, you know yeah, do one, me, uh, it's gonna have to be you guys. Give me a thumbnail real quick, and I will do a. Uh, what, no, do? so go to the scene. Okay. Left, uh, left click or right click? Sorry. And then screenshot. Okay. Okay, everyone look at the camera, JD. And and. There we go. All right. We Screen just did a freaking it. thumbnail live. In video. Live thumbnail. All right. Thank that? you guys so much for tuning in. Woo! Love you. Have an amazing you. rest you of your day. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next week.